Hi, this is a demonstration video for a Pioneer 4-channel high-power amplifier M4000 paired with a Pioneer receiver or tuner amplifier CX4000. These units are paired together. <clears throat> Let me show you. how it's set up here. So there's no power input on this unit. The power it gets is from this ribbon cable down to the power amplifier, which does have its own power. And that's why they're paired together. They kind of work with each other. <coughs> Um, this is a typical, I guess, aside from that fact, amplifier and that all your inputs are right here. And then all the audio signals are going through this cable down to the amplifier. Um, sorry, here's the model number and serial number for reference. And on the amplifier itself, here's the model number. And serial number for reference. Okay, so the outputs on the amplifier section You've got an A and B left and right front speaker output, and you've got a center speaker and then a rear speaker left and right output. Something unique about this amplifier is there's a cooling fan that typically runs when the volume is higher so that you don't hear it. It's not real loud, but it um, definitely only runs, you know, when, when you get the volume turned up a little louder. So that's the back side of it. Right now I've got my source here playing music, just some piano music. And it's hooked into this LD DVD input here. <clears throat> so, and I also have it set to A plus B here. So it's it's going to be running all four of these speakers, two on either side. So if I turn it up. You can hear we've got sound coming out of this speaker, sound coming out of that speaker, sound coming out of that speaker, and sound coming out of that speaker. Okay. There's also a center speaker connection. And I can quickly show you that that is working. We'll just pull these connections off here and plug it into the two center speaker. Connections, which is hooked to this speaker. And you see it's, it's working. So I'll switch this back here. And okay. And 
what I'm going to do is just switch between inputs on this just to show you that all the inputs are working. Okay. Now we're going to the CD player. Here. And we'll switch to CD player on the front. And again, you hear all the speakers are driven here. Okay. And now let's switch over to what do we got next? We see our input. more after this. Here is the VCR input. Now we have sound. Here. Okay, now the only other input is our Test. Now if we switch over to tape, which is right here. We've got sound of all speakers. So all the inputs are working properly. Now, let's check the tuner function. And let's switch it to FM, which is the antenna I have hooked up in the box. only counts in the middle. Horseshoes and hand grenades. Horseshoes. Horseshoes. I've always loved that sound. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the potato mashers. Remember those? Yeah. So the cool thing about this yeah. is there is an equalizer built in here too so you can go to whatever frequency you want. Turn down the volume a little bit. But you can go to any of your selected frequencies and then you can adjust that level. You can see it pull that level down or up depending on your preference for sound. If I want to increase the low frequencies, I'll come down here. Oops, I'm on the high end, sorry. High frequencies. And if I want to go low, I just move down to the low area. Increase. And, um, A woman was hiking at the Minnewaska State Park. So, yeah. Pretty cool. And what else? There's also this base level. There's a hole in the ground here, Liza. <laughs> Park staffers were unable we to reach the dog uh, who went days without food or water awaiting rescue. It's hard to demonstrate this on the video, but it doesn't change the vol it does change the volume. And there's a power base button. Which gives it a lot of boost. I don't know if you can tell, but let me turn it off and on here. Volunteer Jessica shimmy through the passage and hot dog hanging from the end of a modified catch pole. Oh, that's how they get to attend junior high school. No. Right? They eventually just made me a headband. So it hung off in front of me. Yeah. I thought it was it's hard to demonstrate, but it does change the base level. Okay, oh, I, let me check the other tuner function here. Let me change it to AM. I'm going to switch the antenna over to the AM. And let's 
tune the AM station. Let it lock on to something, hopefully. Maybe I didn't hook it. There it goes. There you go. <clears throat> uh, what's cool on this display, too, not only do you get the graphic equalizer and those adjustments, but it tells you what speakers are active, so what speaker outputs are active. And those get changed from these uh, input selections up here. See, you hit this Dolby mode and it turns off the center and just leaves on the front, turns on all front, center, and rear speakers or just the front and center. So those are all your different combinations there. And uh, center mode. You can just turn on and off center in this mode independently. Okay, I won't do it here. So it just depends on which mode you're in. Um, then there's a time delay, which just kind of gives the sound a different effect. I can't say it does a whole lot on on this AM station, but <clears throat> and I don't have the manual for this, so I can't tell you all the different features of it. But there is a demo mode too that we'll kind of go through. If I press this demo, you'll see the display light up. Uh, well, you know what? Now at the store, everything is either about Halloween, and it will go through all the different everybody's forgetting about settings. <laughs> Well, I saw when I got in this morning, this alert from the Turkey Federation. This year there have been, like every market, right? Labor issues and supply distribution. Great channel. Causing problems. Logic. So that means order your turkey now. So it's pretty cool. Throw your bird in the freezer. A new set of proposed Iowa political maps will be released next week. It's kind of funny, this amplifier says four channel amplifier, but clearly has, you know, two front, two rear, and the center channel, so I guess technically it's a five channel amplifier. And the other thing is, on the rear you've got a left and a right, and an A and a B for the front speakers. If you want to use A and B, you have to have all four speakers connected. Otherwise, you can't just use B only and have sound come out. I learned that the hard way. So, if you're just doing A, you know, it'll be popped out in this position here. And that'll just be your front speakers. And then you push it in, and then it'll be both A and B output. I had hooked up speakers just to the B output only, and then I selected A plus B here, and it had nothing coming out the speakers. That's just because you need to have speakers on all four front inputs, both A and B, to get it to work in this A plus B mode. So anyway, yeah, that covers all the basic features and shows that the inputs are all working, outputs are all working, and um, let's take a look in the back here one more time. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh yeah, the rear speakers. Yeah, let's hook up the rear speakers real quick. There. 
we go. And then we'll pop these out because we don't want to hear those at this particular this is a continuation of the rear speaker test. I just hooked up the, the small speakers only. And I'm going to change this so that, so that we have rear speakers on. Hmm. This one. Oh, I think I'm in demo mode. Yeah, we don't want to be in demo mode. There we go. Now we got rear speakers on. So we should hear some music through this thing. Yep. There we go. And there we go. So those outputs are working as well so anyway i got <clears throat> this was through all the general features i don't have the remote control for this unit so there may be more features if you had the remote control and i don't have the manual so i'd recommend looking up the manual if you have interest to find uh, any additional information and uh, one thing I want to note is this display is brighter in the video than it is in real person. To me, it looks kind of dim in real person. And that might be something you can adjust, but I don't know how you do it. Uh, I don't know if you need to have the remote to do that, or if you can do it through some key combination on the front panel. So just wanted to note that, that... Um, it's definitely not as bright as it looks here in the video. It's still readable and everything. You can still work with it, but anyway, that concludes this demonstration. Thanks for viewing.